Convidamos o senhor Ione Zivi da Ecore Energia Solar para sua apresentação no painel Mercado de Inversores no Brasil. Hello, my name is Ione Ziv. I'm the vice president of business development in Ecore Energia Solar. We are one of the strongest distributor for PV equipment in Brazil. I have more than 15 years of experience in the solar industry. I was 10 years in a company named SolarEdge, where I was the vice president of technical sales. Today, I'm going to present to you the future of solar energy, which is the MLP. I will explain about it in a short minute. Okay, so this is the picture that everybody have in mind when they're talking about a solar system. The installers know that there are much more behind that, but the end user, the system owner, only thinks about panels and uh, that's what he has in mind. He doesn't know about technologies, he doesn't know about inverters, he doesn't know many things, just that's what he thinks that will be on his roof. And there is only one question in his head. I guess you all know what's that question. The only question people think about is how much does it cost? Quanto custa? They don't care about technologies, not because it's not important, just because they don't know about it. And in this case, this is a very uh, big problem because this is technology that needs to last. It's an investment that is for 20, 25 years. It is not just a, a component that you buy and after one year you replace it. Would you imagine uh, thinking about only how much it costs when you, for example, want to buy a car or other uh, technology device that uh, lasts for many years? For example, you have this car. It's a car, uh, it's expensive, but it's completely different from this car. Both of them are cars. Both of them will take you from one point to another point. And of course, the tuk-tuk is way cheaper than the other car. But do they have the same qualities? Would they last the same? And actually, which car would you prefer? The main component in solar system is the PV panels. There are many types of panels, different brands, different technologies, silicon, thin film, uh, uh, 60 cells, 72 cells, many, many different uh, types. And each panel, even within the same type, from the same branch, has a, its own fingerprint, a special, very unique uh, characteristic, which is given in the form of IV curve. You can find similar IV curve to the panels in every data sheet of every panel. And uh, this difference them uh, not just because it gives the, the specific power, it gives the characteristic of the current and the voltage the panels are working in the different uh, working points. And this IV curve also changed dramatically with irradiance and with temperature. The cooler it gets, the voltage increase, and the more irradiance, the more current you have because more photons hit the panel and then you have more electrons generated. The problem is when we have many panels with different IV curves, even if the uh, difference is very small, uh, you have loss from what is called mismatch. Because a traditional inverter have an input, every MPPT, maximum power point tracker, has an input and it can run only one current in series. This is laws of physics. And when you try to have only one current that tries to satisfy many panels and each one has a slightly different IV curve with slight different best operation point of current, then you get losses. Not because the inverter is not good. The inverter can be amazing with 100% efficiency. But if not, all the panels have exactly the same IV curve, you will get power losses. And this is the biggest problem of traditional system. There are many causes for the mismatch and differences in the irradiance and the temperature coming from little cracks from the transportation. And you can have a little different angles of orientation. You can have shading. 
you can have different temperature because of wind panels in the front and panels in the back and you know that world is not uh, optimal always and you have tolerance from the manufacturing even from the same factory the silicon you know is is, is uh, the way it's uh, generated it always have some differences and the uh, companies try to give us very identical panels and sort them but it's never 100 percent sorted and you always have differences and the bigger the differences the bigger the losses you have from these differences life with a traditional string inverter is like being in a traffic jam you can have a very good panel you can have a very good car and a very good uh, driver but if the driver is in front of you or the back of your side of you drive slow they're now unfocused they're talking on the phone or on the whatsapp you will be stuck not because of your fault because the road is serving many many different cars many different panels some of them are slow and some of them are fast and they all affect one of the other and here came the idea that will change the industry forever the idea of mlp module level power electronic this idea started with companies of microinverters somewhere in the 80s and later came a company named SolarEdge that did this different uh, kind of MLP. I will talk about both options in the next slides. When you have MLP, you have module level power electronic. This is like giving a separate lane for each and every car. So you can drive as fast as you can, as fast as your car allow or the driver or the regulation without the effect of other cars, slower cars, faster cars, you are alone you have your own inverter you have your own electronic per panel the first and best technology that started this mlp is the micro inverters we at Ecori, we represent a company named ap systems which give a very good uh, price um, value for money for these micro inverters and these micro inverters are connected to the panels and give you module level electronic which gives module level MPPT, module level monitoring, module level safety. You have full flexibility because there is no one inverter to connect to all of the panels together. Every panel has its own manager, his own inverter that gives him the best efficiency uh, conversion and monitoring and everything you need. A very nice thing about microinverters that everything is on the roof, you don't need to install inverter inside the house. This is something that people, remember I told you that uh, when they think about solar system, they think only about the panels on the roof. Nobody thinks about, oh, now I need to find the wall and put the AC breaker and DC breaker and put an inverter on this wall and connect the internet. Here, everything is very simple. Everything is on the roof. You don't need to sacrifice any, any wall in your house. And that's why this technology is very, very strong uh, for the residential market. The second option is SolarEdge, is a, a company I came from before a quarry. Uh, they have a different concept of MLP. They say, okay, let's try to give all the benefits of microinverters, but with technology more similar in, in uh, practice and in price of string inverter. What they actually did, they broke the inverter in a good way. They put the two uh, functions of the inverter, which are MPPT and DC to AC conversion, and set every functionality where it belongs to. The DC DC MPPT at the panels with this uh, optimizers, and at the grid connection, a very, very good, efficient, and cheap inverter that is only taking the optimized power and convert it to the AC grid. Many people ask, okay, so which technology is the best and how can you test? And they do all kinds of comparisons, which none of them is really good. It's almost impossible to have academic level uh, comparison. And the only uh, good academic uh, comparison I know about was done by NREL, which is the National uh, Renewable Energy Laboratory of the United States. And they compared for a long while uh, microinverters optimizers and string inverters and 
In many cases, you see that the optimizers are a little better than the microinverters. In some cases, the microinverters are better than optimizers. But if you look carefully at the results, you see that actually uh, production-wise, uh, optimizers and microinverters gives identical results, maybe a fraction of percent here and there. And you can see that the big change is with the string inverter. String inverter, unless the, the conditions are 100% optimal, in any condition which is not 100% optimal, a string inverter perform much worse than MLPE, either a microinverter or optimizer. And this is important because we look at this uh, solar system as an investment. And when you talk about investments, there are three things that you care about. You want to increase the revenue, reduce the expenses, and reduce the risk. So how can we increase the revenue? I think that's pretty obvious. You have the model level optimization, so you have more energy. You can put more panels on the roof because you have flexibility. So you actually uh, get much better uh, production and you can sell more panels as a, a reseller. So revenue wise, there is no question that uh, MLP is the best. The more uh, interesting question is, how do I reduce the expenses? Because it's maybe a little bit more expensive, but this higher expenses is only at the capital cost and the initial cost. For the project lifetime, when you take into account the warranty of the system, the, the value of much simpler operation and maintenance because of the monitoring, you get much, much lower uh, OPEX, operational costs. And when you have better OPEX, then the complete project ROI, return on investment, get much better. And you also have much better uh, warranty and guarantee that your system will function better through the lifetime because you have the monitoring and visibility to what's going on in your system and not just hope that everything will work well. Coming to the last point, which is the risk reduction. With MLPE, you have module level shutdown in case of fire, in case of problem, in case of AC disconnect. The first thing that firefighters do when they come to the, to the roof is disconnect the AC because they don't want to get electric shot. And when you disconnect the AC, in traditional system, you get higher DC voltage because the panels go to the V open circuit. Here, because every panel is separated, you maximum get the view open circuit of one panel. And in microinverters, you get like zero power at the output. With the optimizers, you get one volt at the output. So you're in a very safe point compared to traditional string inverter. Would you imagine buying a car without a safety belt? Uh, this is a commercial advertisement of a Volvo company uh, from 60 years ago. At that time, safety, seatbelt, was a feature. It was something it was nice to have. Today, you would not imagine buying a car with no safety, a seatbelt, airbag, AWS, etc., etc. Um, today, uh, in Brazil, it's not mandatory. But in many countries, these regulations come. And I'm sure a few years from now, we would not imagine that we could buy a system with no safety inherent uh, as we do today. Uh, MLP give you this safety feature today. So with a solar system based on MLP, you know that you made the right choice for you and for your customers, getting the best monitoring, the best operation and maintenance, simple design, flexibility, more energy, and most important, you have the safest system possible. I uh, hope this was uh, interesting and you learned something from this uh, short presentation. Thank you very much. I was Yoni, and in the name of Ecori, I would like to thank you. Um, thank you very much. Agradecemos o senhor Yoni Ziv da Ecori Energia Solar por sua apresentação.